Hello and welcome back. As always, my name is Lazar and today we're gonna be talking a little bit about Mesa. Just keep in mind that my builds, my orientation towards these guys take a new player friendly approach simply because nobody explained it to me and I'm trying to explain it to new players as well. So last night a brand new update brought us a new augment for Mesa. So we're gonna be talking about a build for Mesa that includes that brand new augment. I'm I was really excited about this one and other, other arguments as well but I really Really play Mesa a lot and I want to bring you guys kind of my way to Mesa this is not the best way the greatest way just simply what I enjoy for this Warframe so let's take a closer look here first of all we're gonna go into the actual build and check out the augment that came out last night and it's called Mesa's Waltz uh, fully upgraded Peacemaker Augment, Mesa can move at 50% speed while using Pacemaker. Now what it doesn't say on this Augment, as many times is the case with Warframe, it doesn't tell you that you can roll as well and that is a pretty big deal. It allows us to reposition ourselves while our 4 ability is active and that once again is a big deal. Now another thing about this augment you probably notice is an Exilus slot so we can just give up our Exilus slot which most of the time doesn't provide the biggest benefit in the world and we can place it over there. Now let's talk about the build itself. As you see I have two Forma put in Mesa already. If you haven't format uh, any of your weapons or your Warframes at, uh, up until this point it is very simple. You simply make a Forma which doesn't really cost that much. It takes one or two Orokin cells and that may prove problematic but there are plenty of ways to farm them. And you go into actions and you polarize. You will be able to choose a uh, indicative, a sign for one of these slots. As you know, that will reduce the cost of the mod that placed in that slot as long as it has that specific symbol. Uh, so I put already two Forma into Mesa mostly because of Narrow Minded, which is maxed out. Now, uh, another uh, issue with some of these builds is the fact that they don't explain why do you have such a big mod capacity. As you can see there, I have 65. Now, you can't really get around this one unfortunately once again into actions you will need an orokin reactor the orokin reactor will double your mod capacity these orokin reactors are pretty hard to get unfortunately they very very rarely pop up on alerts or invasion or stuff like that most of the time you're going to be forced to pay 20 plat for it which i recommend you guys getting through trade sell the stuff you don't want and it's worth something 20 plat should be fairly easy to get Alright, and that would, uh, with that cover, finally we can get into the build. First off, for the aura, I am using corrosive projection. As you can see, it doesn't have the appropriate symbol. If you want to get the appropriate symbol in there and get even more mod capacity, then you would want to Forma, correct? Now let's take a look at other options for the aura. Now I really enjoy using uh, the Tiberon Prime lately because it's an absolutely outstanding weapon and for that reason sometimes I go with Rifle Amp. Another option for your aura would be Pistol Amp. You can get it from the trade chat for about 20 plat. Now Pistol Amp will also increase the damage of your four ability and again the soul build kind of revolves around her four abilities so it might be worth picking up however if you're running higher level content and your enemies are heavily armored like the grenier for example not the corpus the corpus you should uh, have a different approach to them like a gas build for example but for grenier or for again heavily armored units you want to use corrosive projection in the Exilus slot, which is unlocked either by buying uh, um, an Exilus mod adapter from Cephalon uh, Simaris, okay, you will gonna need 50,000 standing with him, and you will unlock this slot like here, uh, right here, because for most of you guys, this slot is locked. If you don't have the standing, but you do have the plat, 20 plat will cost you to unlock this slot as well, and it is important to unlock it. As for arcanes, I don't have fancy arcanes, as you can see, I don't even have fancy mods because I'm a, I'm a more newer player. So I don't have prime this and prime that. Moving on, for the Exilus uh, adapter, you want to use ideally Cunning Drift. And you'll see this is the second range uh, mod I have together with Stretch. Simply because we are using Narrow Minded. And Narrow Minded will reduce our ability range by a whopping 66%. 
And you're probably like, okay, what does range matter on Missa? It doesn't really matter. Yes, it does. Kinda. Uh, the reticule, the size of her four big targeting circle is affected by range. And this is why I am eager to get some of that range back that I lost from Narrow Minded. The rest of the build focuses on a whole lot of ability duration, a little bit of efficiency, which in this case, kind of duration is efficiency from a point of view, and a little bit of banked energy through flow. So we're using flow. Again, I want to store up as much energy as I can so I can stay in um, so I can keep up my four for a longer period of time we're using intensify now intensify will be enough the 30% ability strength will be enough to cap out your third ability at 95% damage reduction and that is a big deal for Mesa so you can go right ahead and use intensify or another ability strength mod but you need at least 30% Continuity for a little bit of ability duration. Again, a lot of ability duration in this build. Augur message for the same reason. Ability duration. Vitality for a little bit of survivability. And here you might want to drop off this vitality and grab a fully stacked one. Another format will be necessary, unfortunately, if you want to use corrosive projection. But if you don't want to use corrosive projection and you're doing lower level content, corrosive projection doesn't really have any point because as you probably know by now, a one shot is a one shot, so it doesn't really matter. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of motivation to do end game content like there is any in Warframe right now. So Vitality or another survival mod of your choosing, it doesn't really matter, pick whatever you want. Okay, we already went over the range argument. Now I remind it again for the huge duration. It gives us and streamline for a little bit of ability efficiency. Now, if you guys have primed the uh, streamlined or primed continuity or primed whatever else, go right on ahead and use that. I simply don't have them because I'm a newer player. And well, that's pretty much it. Again, the build revolves heavily around... Um, uh, keep it up your four as long as possible and for this uh, specific test We're gonna go right into augments and we're gonna equip missiles waltz and we're gonna give up on cunning drift That's only 50% range the other bonuses are nice as well, but not Something we can live without so let's go into gameplay and for the magic of video editing, now we are on Sedna. And I know you guys hate this one, you're probably bored by now of leveling here. So activate our free ability for survivability as per the always, uh, and look at that duration, over 60 seconds duration on our third ability. We're gonna go into our four, we're absolutely gonna murder everything just by keeping left click pressed down. That is why the rapid fire. And normally would we, we would cancel it and go back into reposition ourselves and then activate our four once again that's kind of what you do with mesa but now that is not necessary anymore thankfully we can just keep our four up and dash through the entire level if that is what you do as you can see the speed at which she moves is extremely slow because it's only 50 percent of her uh, initial uh duration of an initial speed sorry about that but you can move, so you can reposition, so you can avoid those awkward situations where you simply just miss the ideal location. And you can keep on moving like this and simply murder everything in the level. Everything is dying as it should be. Our free ability is up, uh, our shatter shield is up, so that means we are getting ton of mitigation as well. Now, another thing that you can do while your 4 is active is activate any of your other abilities. Normally, you would activate your 2, 75 seconds duration with this build and 65 uh, 63 for shatter shield and then you just run around and kill enemies that is mostly what you do so once again we can activate Gora into our uh, uh, four kill everything if we want to reposition like so because we see on the minimap a whole bunch of enemies over here we can do that as well so you can keep on dashing through the level if that is what you want to do it is somewhat efficient i want to say and i ha i believe that this will really be good at the higher level of gameplay but right now is considering what most people do in warframe isn't really that high level isn't it there's no real motivation to stand a hundred waves in a defense mission or something like that so i'm not really gonna be using this one i don't see that much point to it uh keep in mind that reactivating your four also came with the well decision to re uh, get the size of our uh targeting reticule back to normal okay back to being big so it's easier to hit everything after about 40 shots it gets rather difficult to target uh, to target enemies. 
So reactivating your core ability will uh, bring the size of the circle once again back to normal. So there is that to take into account. Other than that, you also kind of lose that cool animation that Mesa does when she fires. But if you don't I care about that. I honestly do. I enjoy playing Mesa. I enjoy mostly everything about her. I don't really use her first ability. I don't think many people do. But I do enjoy playing this Warframe a lot. And I love her abilities. I love her animations. And losing that animation of hers kind of, I don't know. I don't really like it. You know, I wish she could have still done that cool pistol stances that she does. And well, that is mostly it. So again, we got guys over here, We're just gonna follow them, reposition using shift and pretty much murder everyone. And as per the usual, Mesa is one of the highest, perhaps the highest DPS in Warframe right now. And she's a bit of a cheat because of course she has her auto aim. Well, that's pretty much it to the build. As you can see, it does great damage. It's easy to play because, come on, let's be real. It's auto-targeted, so it's nothing really you should worry about. And, well, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope it was useful for you. If I missed anything, if I forgot to mention anything, or you think I should have done this instead of that, by all means, let me know in the comment section down below. As always, my name has been Lazar. Thank you guys for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And I'll see you again soon. Bye guys, see you tomorrow.